excitement. Did you guys have trouble getting here with the roads and everything? Our time in Peru was made extra interesting by coinciding with some of the largest economic strikes Peru had seen in many years. The strike forced major roads and highways to be shut down, and just earlier this morning we had to hike 7 miles from the Star Lodge to the Tambo del Inca in Yurubamba where we were supposed to spend the night. However, due to the planned continuance of the strike, we were picked up at night and shall we say smuggled to the camp. It's now 11.30 and all the roads are blocked. Get a little U-turn and we're off. After like... Seven hours, we finally made it. <laughs> now we're walking to the campsite. However, all the trouble was well worth it for one of the most beautiful treks in the world. And while this journey was a roller coaster of emotion, this story has a very happy ending. I'm so happy. Things are a little hectic this morning. It's an interesting campsite situation. It's our view from camp. It's beautiful out here, trying to remain calm. We got an early morning wake up call at 5 a.m. 4 5 a.m. Uh, I don't really know what we're doing. I think we're beating a big crowd. We're uh, headed to start hiking and then we're gonna have breakfast and look at the view we have. You see the bridge down there? Yeah. It is close. Oh, because it is straight? It's strange. As the bridge at the iconic Kilometer 82 was closed, we took the scenic route to the Inca Trail along the Urubamba River and even walked on the train tracks which were vacant due to the protests. Is that the Inca Trail right there? No. Keep going this way. This alternate route added about three miles to our day one track, but we were assured by our guide that once we crossed the river, there would be no more trouble from the protest, and thankfully, he was right. <laughs> Taking a quick cat nap while we're waiting on breakfast. The porters running ahead to set everything up, which is pretty crazy. We're like six to seven kilometers in. I think we have like 14 a day. Okay, we need to wash our hands. Chocolates. We have uh, orange juice. Avocado, no? Yeah. Well, we're not How are you feeling? I'm feeling incredibly proud. The guide said that we have great pace and called me, quote, Speedy Gonzalez. So I don't think that's going to translate in tomorrow when we have to go over Dead Woman's Pass, but right now, I'm feeling great, especially considering at 3.5 hours of sleep. We made it to lunch. We have this big, wide, open, kind of green space that we get to hang out at. Nap time. Sprinkling a little bit, but I don't mind. Do cheers. We have no idea what this is, but it's delicious. Rainbow that's, trout. That's a nice deal right there. Avocado and veggies and rice. I can't believe this corn with the cheese. That drizzle around lunchtime quickly turned into an afternoon shower, so we had to gear up in our ponchos and rain gear. And we all had the rain jackets, rain pants, and this poncho on, and we were like, felt like we were in a sauna for about 30 minutes, so we're trying to undress a little bit now. Felt like a baked potato wrapped in foil. Just made it to our campsite. We started today at about 8,900 feet above sea level, so we hiked for about six hours or so, and um, then we made it to Aya Pata, I probably screwed that up, which is about uh, 10,900 feet above sea level so this is where we'll be camping tonight overall the day was not too crazily hard it was challenging towards the end there was definitely some climbs but it was really just a day to get acclimated we're about to go get some tea and some snacks and dinner and then we're going to call it an evening for the night try and rest up before the big hike tomorrow it's crock o'clock baby time to put them in sport mode oh yeah nice. how does that feel feels great so breathable Feels pretty good. <laughs> oh, it looks warm too. I can see the steam coming off it. One thing I do wish that we brought of our own was a towel. They give us these towels and they told us that it was small and that you should bring your own, but we didn't listen. Welcome to my crib. We have an inflatable mattress pad and a foam pad. Included with your expedition you get a sleeping bag and here's a liner which is deep down in here as well it's bright green which is the color of alpaca expeditions you also get a pillow and then all of your personal stuff that you keep at camp goes in this green duffel bag down here um so you just put everything in there but this and the sleeping pad and your tent and your trekking poles which i don't have you can get all that from the expedition company which makes it really easy so you really just need yourself and your gear this is our toilet tent just unzip it, some toilet paper, and a compost toilet. It's not much, but it sure as hell beats having to go in the wilderness or share with random strangers. Some of these bathrooms out here have been gnarly. 
Time to take a dump. Snack time. Each evening we would have snacky hour with bites and tea while chef cooked dinner. We were always blown away by how much food came out from the other side of that dining tent. Vegetables. We got pasta, cauliflower, quiche, chicken stew, yucca, and a whole bunch of veggies. We have a wake-up call tomorrow morning at I believe it's 4.45 and we leave here at 6 a.m. to start hiking. I'm gonna follow their advice and put my clothes in the bottom of my sleeping bag so that they are nice and toasty warm when I put them on in the morning. All right, we each got some earplugs in. We're gonna go to sleep and start the hardest day of the track tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. We were woken up each morning by the porters with a steaming hot cup of coca tea, which has caffeine and is said to help with altitude sickness. We would then get ready for the day and meet in the breakfast tent. So the green tent here is where we eat our meals. So we every day we get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, they cook in this tent, we also eat in this tent. So we eat breakfast here every morning and then we start our hike. Um, and then they take the tent to where we stop for lunch and we eat there and then they take it to our next campsite and we eat there. I do taste that sugar. This morning, we could tell they were fueling us up for the big climb with all the carbs and sugar on the table. I like just plop it on top of my pancake. Day two of the hike starts with about four hours of straight uphill, and the peak we get to is about 13,800 feet above sea level, so I guess I'm gonna be climbing for the next four hours, but right now I'm in like a kind of like jungly area. Today is a lot of steps. Not only is it uphill, they're like steps, Inca steps. So, Kind of just feels a little bit different, you know, it works the calves more. I'm already sweating so bad I gotta take off this jacket. Taking a little snack break. They gave us these oranges before we left, so I'm gonna take the sugar as we get ready to summit to Dead Woman's Pass. Two hours away. Hopefully. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling really good. Sunscreen all over your pants. Oh my gosh, I think you need to keep rubbing it in. Or like your mustache. It seems long overdue in this vlog that we introduced the rest of our crew. My aunt and uncle joined us on the hike, and our fearless leader, Javier, was our tour guide from Alpaca Expeditions. We also had with us 10 porters that took amazing care of us. While we were exhausting all of our energy just walking, these guys ran circles around us, literally while carrying 50 pound packs. We also almost added this cow and her calf to our team, but they weren't interested in joining us for the most grueling part of the hike. All right, we are officially halfway to Dead Woman's Pass. We've been hiking for just under two hours, so I think it's gonna take us four hours total. So we have to go up and then two hours down, and then we get to eat lunch. But these stairs are no joke. Onward and upward. He's not even out of breath. Good God. Oh, so many stairs. Our tour guide gave us some mystery liquid, which I equate basically to a smelling salt that let us power like up the whiff. mountain. What is this like, uh, <laughs> Everclear? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> three times, three times, very deep. Oh. <laughs> Why to the top? Just a few more steps. Dead's woman passes right there. Should be like two minutes. You made it to Dead Woman's Pass. Woo! How you feel? Feel my heart beat. Well done. Thank you. We made it to Dead Woman's Pass, the highest point on the Inca Trail. All right. Two hours down. Time to get some lunch. The route down from Dead Woman's Pass. Those green tents back there is where we're eating lunch. We are on the downhill section and we should be there in about 20 minutes. So, vamanos. My knees are starting to hurt. It's just, it's a more intense downhill than it looks on these stairs, but morale is high because food's on the horizon. The porter just met us at one of the forks in the road and showing us the way to lunch. And I can smell it from here, it smells so good. I'm so hungry. I've ate more today probably than I have in the past three days combined, but 
still starving and so excited to see what they have cooked up for us because everything has been delicious. Flour mixed with some vegetable stock, pilla. Good soup. This is my favorite. Oh, there is a long way to go, Chicos. We just finished lunch and took a siesta. I didn't think I'd be able to fall asleep, but I was out, and Garrett tells me I was snoring, but I don't fully believe him. So we're gonna use the toilets here one more time before we start off with the rest of our day. We have two hours uphill and then two hours downhill. It's about 1.30 right now, so we're hoping to be done with all of our hiking by 5.30 so that we can eat and get another good night of sleep. And they said the Inca Trail is a lot of stairs. They weren't lying. I'm pretty sure we're only 15 minutes into this two hour uphill after lunch, but the view is incredible. For reference, that is where we came through Dead Woman's Pass. Came all the way down that trail. There's where we ate lunch. Now we're all the way back up here. And turns out even the Incas needed a resting point. Because we have to go <laughs> up these. Doesn't look that steep in the video, but they're very steep. These stairs are no joke. They're like half, they're like half of them come up to like mid chin. So, look at those glutes. All right, this part's pretty gnarly looking. We've made it to our first archeological site of the day. Uncarque, Uncarque, I don't know. I'm sure Javier will tell me how to say that properly. All right, 45 more minutes up. Then we get to start the town hill. Shimmy through there, huh? That's awesome. Still climbing. Summit number two for day two. Whew. I'm definitely out of breath, but we made it. Happy to see some flat ground. I'm gonna take in what they have to offer up here and then head down. The weather changes pretty drastically. It'll be really hot one second, and then next thing you know, it'll be like freezing cold. So I had to just add uh, gloves, beanie, and a thermal underneath this jacket, and yesterday I was hiking in short sleeves. Back and forth. These are some pretty big steps. Some of them come up to my knee. All right, six, we made it! How are your knees feeling, Garrett? Oh. My knees hurt. I have a sore throat, but optimism's high. Right? I think I have a sore throat from like breathing through my mouth so much. So happy to be here. See those green tents. Successful day. Staying on pace. Now we're, oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Made it back to camp just in time to avoid the rain. I'm gonna wash my face. Bucket of hot water never sounded so good. Have the hour consists of tea, snacks such as this donut kind of fried thing with banana and chocolate in it, as well as some popcorn. So we're gonna have this, have dinner, and then get a good night's sleep before we have our day three of hiking tomorrow. Cauliflower quiche, stuffed peppers, fried chicken, and rice. Good night from our tent. We just finished dinner. We are exhausted. We both have pounding headaches, or at least I do. Uh, just took some medicine. I'm gonna try and get some sleep and hopefully we feel better tomorrow. Tomorrow is an easy day. I think we're only hiking for like five hours. Um, so it shouldn't be too bad. And then we camp one more night before Machu Picchu. All right, let's get some sleep. Good morning from day, what is it, three? three. Day three on the trail. I look like I'm hungover. I got really baggy eyes. I slept pretty good. Uh, Feeling pretty sore from day two. <laughs> I've slept here for three days, haven't showered with this beautiful lady. Supposedly we have an easy day, it's like five days. <laughs> five days, I hope not. Five hours of hiking. Um, an hour and a half of it's supposed to be kind of easy, and then three and a half or so hours of it's supposed to be straight downhill. So theoretically we should be down around noon to 1230 today. And then we get to kind of just hang out at the campsite and enjoy some uh, ancient Inca ruins. Oh, 
Thank you. Good morning, our team. Turn the woods. Yeah, we got bagels. I have no clue what that is, and no clue what that is. Or that mystery liquid. Looks good. All that rain last night gave us a beautiful waterfall to look at today. I hope I look more athletic than I feel. No, uh, you don't. Sorry. <laughs> On this day, we took it slow and really enjoyed the scenery, including all of the incredible plants along the trail. Thanks to this, the jungle. Whoa, it's thick. Thanks to this, Amazon jungle, always green. And while there was some uphill, it was mostly an enjoyable walk. <laughs> we just took a quick break, had some bars to fuel up. Now we have three hours down to our campsite where lunch is. <laughs> Did a whole lot of stuff to prepare for the up. Really should have done more to prepare for the down. This is why my legs are so sore today. We made it to camp. With a very beautiful view. Lunch time. What do you hope we get? I'll pick anything. <laughs> <laughs> The guacamole has alpaca chips. Fall off your rocker there. The weather was perfect and we enjoyed what was probably our favorite meal of the trip outside. After lunch, we had a short walk over to Waina Waina, which is an archeological site that's kind of like a mini Machu Picchu, but way less crowded. So it felt like we had the whole place to ourselves to explore. Ancient Incan water fountain. Each one flowing. one. We were able to take in Golden Hour here with some incredible views before heading back to camp for our last night on the trail. Garrett's taking a siesta. Dinner's almost ready though. Pasta. Second case, straight. That looks really Potatoes. good. Yeah, Purple. Potatoes, carrot, beans, um, beef. Chicken with some yeah, vegetables. Oh, wow. Thank you, gracias. <laughs> Sometimes you don't know in the group, no? if somebody. Hey. All right, good night from our tent from day three. We have an early wake up call tomorrow morning at about 3 20 a.m. Today, I think, was definitely the most fun day. Lots of ruins. The downhill is pretty brutal on our beat up legs, but it was a really good day. We had some really good food. Saw some really cool ancient Incan ruins, and now we're ready to sleep for an early wake up. Uh, it's 3 a.m. We're supposed to be leaving, and it is pouring down rain, thunder, and lightning. So, give Pachimama a pour. Please, Pachimama, let this rain end. You should have my coffee. Well, you're supposed to give her your favorite thing, and coffee is definitely one of my favorite things, so... Okay, All right, it's 4 a.m. We're setting off in the rain. Headed to Machu Picchu. Vamos. We are at the last uh, mission control place. They open at 5.30, so we are under this nice covered roof, and it's pouring rain. And at 5.30, they should let us through, and then we have like an hour and 10-minute hike to the Sun Gate where we'll get the first view of Machu Picchu, and then it's like another hour after that, and then we'll actually be at Machu Picchu. So yep. if all goes well, we should be there about 7.30-ish. We woke up extra early so we could be under this roof instead of out there in the rain. All right, it's 5.23. Gates are about to open so we can start a two and a half hour trek up to the sun gate. Still pretty heavy cloud cover. We used to be able to see a ton of mountains over there and now you see fog. So we took a chance by coming in the rainy season, really hoping that uh, it pays off for us and these clouds lift and we get a good clear view of Machu Picchu. So we're staying optimistic, staying hopeful, and getting ready to go hike. What did you dream last night? Good weather or bad weather? Good weather. Excellent.
I'm still hopeful. Yes. Come on, Pudgy Mama. Call these stairs the Gringo Killer. Garrett's making it look easy. We will likely not make it look that easy. So it is very foggy, still raining. I'm probably about an hour away from Machu Picchu. Um, Lauren is feeling very sad, trying to keep her spirits high. She was really hoping to get a good view of Machu Picchu. But, you know, trying to remain thankful. We had a lot of good weather the first three days. And we did come in the rainy season and it hadn't rained that much. So, you know, all in all, we're still here and uh, gonna see what I can do to cheer Lauren up. All right, we hiked up to the sun gate completely in the rain, but we just got up here. The rain has stopped. The clouds look like they're lifting, so we're getting really hopeful. We're gonna hang out here, maybe eat those uh, chips ahoy they gave us this morning in our snack packs. And hopefully, hopefully watch the fog lift, but spirits are getting higher. Machu Picchu looks sunny and we're almost there. Just gotta get there while it stays that way. Nope. We're requesting good earth and giving an offering of coca candy because we don't have any coca leaves. We finished the trail. We made it! Four days. I think we three like sleepless nights. No food, no water, no shoes. I'm Except for we, we had everything. Had everything. We had the best meals. It was <laughs> it was easy, but it was hard. Hike was hard, but life was easy. Man, was it worth it? I'm so happy. Is this number? The sun is shining. Seven wonders of the world are done. New seven wonders. I'm happy. I forgot my sunglasses, so I'm squinty, but I'm really happy. Aren't you glad that we did the hike and it's so much more enjoyable after hiking for like 30 miles than it is just riding a bus here? Yes, but I wish that I was showered for my photos because I feel very gross. <laughs> Checked our bags and spent about an hour and a half exploring Machu Picchu and taking in all its wonder. This was an extra special trip for me because it was my seventh of the new seven wonders, a goal I had been chasing after since May of 2018, made even more special by sharing it with family. Getting one final look. On the bus back down to Aguas Calientes, we're gonna have lunch, explore the town, and then we're gonna take a train somewhere, and then a bus somewhere, and then we're back in Cusco. It's bumpy. <laughs> God, this turn. Oh no. Vichayma. Vichayma. Sexy Sexy Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks so much for everything. Time to board the Vista Dome train. The trains for Rural Vista Dome and Rural Expedition 74 with final destination Ollantaytambo Station. We treated ourselves to a luxury ride back on the Vista Dome train and these panoramic views were the perfect end to our adventures in Peru. Hey, this is Uncle Chick from Cusco, Peru. And we're culminating our trip here with Lauren and Garrett after our summit on the Inca Trail and having a lot of fun in Machu Picchu. And it was Lauren's seventh wonder of the world. That's super fantastic. Hoorah! <laughs> Safe travels home, Lauren and Garrett. We'll see you over Christmas. Yeah. God bless. Bye. <laughs>